Hey, what up guys, it's Sick, and today I wanna to talk about some of the additions I've recently done to MQ2 status. So with MacroQuest Next, um, us as users and us as developers have access to some things that we didn't have access to before or additional access on top of things that maybe we had access to before but not, uh, not in the way that we do now. Um, and so I I've added a couple of those things to MQ2 status and I want to show you how those things work. First thing we're going to talk about is achievement. I can do uh, BCAA uh, status achievement um, add my typing window here. Boom. See what I'm typing. All right. So I'm typing BCA status achievement. Uh, now I'm going to do something like uh, Hunter of Cobalt Scar. Now I'm showing you this one in particular because there is a little bit of nuances with, uh, with this functionality that's important. So I'm going to do that. Um, everyone's going to spit out achieve Hunter of Cobalt Scar. It's going to say incomplete and it says missing as you are a missing Balthor herd leader bis missing Yolkar. So um, if I open my regular achievements window and I go to um, Scars of Velius, we will see that that is because it is pulling the Hunter of Cobalt Scar from Scars of Velius. And it is not pulling from the uh, Hunter of Cobalt Scar from uh, from Claws of Visham. Now that's important because for achievements that are named the same thing, it's going to return the first one that you look for. However, um, we have an ability to be able to check by ID number. Now the achievement ID system is a little bit weird. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time trying to explain this, but I'll show you how you get the information. So if you press your control uh, tilde, control tilde, however you say it, button, um, you'll open up your macro quest console. I have my console on another monitor right now. Uh, which is one of the nice things about Next is we're able to move some some of the windows out of the game and either onto another monitor or, or wherever you want it. Anyway, so uh, if you go to Achievements or Inspectors and then Achievements, you'll see this window pop up. Now this window looks similar to the achievement window that we actually have access to. It's the same information. However, um, you notice if I mouse over here, it says things like Category ID, Complete Achievement Score, co uh, Complete Achievements. Uh, and actually that completed achievements, there's a, I put it in there, I'll uh, message uh, brain about that. Anyhow, so um, if you notice, so we're gonna go and check these. So category 10 general, category 50 trade skill, 70 hero's journey, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 500, et cetera. So you start to see some patterns coming up as they add them, right? So these expansions, 13, 14, 1500, 1600, all the way up to 2800. Now what they end up doing underneath those for uh, Claws of Vishan, they have categories. So you have category ID 2800, general is 2801. Uh, do they have a two? They might not have a two. I am showing all hidden. Um, anyway, now uh, you have all these categories and then if you go into the individual thing, we'll do the hunter thing again. You can see it's 2807, 100 is Novice Hunter, uh, Claws of Vishan. Uh, but I want to go to Hunter of Cobalt Scar, and I can click on it and see uh, achievement ID is 2807101. So we're going to do, instead of doing uh, Hunter of Cobalt Scar, we're going to do 2807101, and then it's going to spit out um, anything that my dudes are missing from that particular one. And that's the one that I'm looking for. So that's the one I want reported. So with some stuff that has a duplicate, um, the only way to specify which one we want to find, because who knows, there could be two, there could be three, um, is by specifying that number. So you have to go into the achievements thing, thing to get it. But for the most part, um, you're going to find the stuff that you're looking for, right? So like if we want to look for... Um, Mercenary of Cobalt Scar, for example. I don't think, does the old one even have uh, Mercenary of Cobalt Scar? No. So if we were to do that, it would pull up the correct one. Uh, we're going to do um, 
mercenary of cobalt scar boom and it shows that everybody has that completed which is correct um so that's pretty cool now uh, let's exit this it's flickering a little bit and that's just the frame limiter thing and the way that it's displaying them not actually i'm not actually seeing a thing so we have this cool thing we can check for achievements. Now, I used this quite extensively recently. I was working on a bunch of tunes, getting the earring quest done um, and being able to check collections, maybe a sub collection. I know that, hey, I need uh, nails and teeth. Um, and this is actually nails and teeth, per parenthetically, the Eastern Wastes. Um, so we would check that and I could say, uh, Status achievement, uh, nails and teeth, uh, the Eastern wastes, and it would come back and show that everybody has that completed. Um, if I was missing items in that, it would come back and say incomplete, missing, and then what they were missing. Let's pick, let's pick an older thing that has collections that probably people don't have. Um, okay, so this will do chasing Kazakh. So this is a, a an achievement that has. Uh, achievements as subcategories to it, right? So we'll do chasing uh, Kazakh and it's uh, reign of fear is the title. So it says everybody's missing all sorts of shit and uh, they're missing at the source, heralds of war, down the last dwarf and chilling with the giants. Now there's also some other really strange weirdness in here and that's because we're looking specifically what does this say and what is listed and uh i forget the example but there's some examples where what this says for the sub quest and then what the actual uh what the actual achievement is called is different and there's nothing we can do about that it, this is what the, this is what the achievement says this is what the everquest has in the thing so there's a little bit there's a little bit of massaging that has to go into this but if you notice so we do the uh we're missing at the source so let's say okay well we're missing the achievement at the source Let's check that. Um, and it said that it was wrong. Let's see. Um, please provide an achievement ID at the source. Okay, perfect. That was literally what I was just talking about. See how this says at the source in here? And it re reports back missing at the source because we are. We're missing this checkbox that says at the source, where the actual achievement is at the source shard landing. Uh, so we will do landing. And now it'll tell us all of the stuff uh, that we're missing. Let's check these again. Uh, we'll keep going down the list. So we'll do fear in places. Uh, and that's probably going to be, again, shards landing, even though the item doesn't say that it's shards landing. Uh, that I, maybe that's act. No, fear in pieces. Fear in pieces. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I can't spell. Pieces. That's like when you said a plug-in and you meant plug-in. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hear all this. Awesome. All right, so we slap, we slap this bad boy in and you see uh, for this dude, where is it? It says a missing unbreakable sliver, uh, tempting heart, uh, corrupted core, intact crystal, chunk, and shifting snake. So that is accurate. Uh, it did not report that I'm missing red shard or purple shard. Shows those items. This is super duper 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 handy to check for achievement status. Now, while I was doing this, I was like, you know what would be even super cooler? Is if I had a collection item like this, and I wanted to see if somebody had it collected. Now, this is also weird because A, we're not searching to see if they have this item on their person or in their bank or somewhere on their inventory. We're checking to see if they've collected an item that matches this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to go through every single collection achievement. We're going to have to find an entry that matches specifically what we're passing and then see if we've collected it or not, right? We're not using an item database to verify that the item exists, uh, which means we can't use partial names. We have to do it uh, exactly. But we'll do um, status uh, collected. And we'll do, if I do frozen dire wolf, right? This is gonna fail because it's, it's we're not finding an item. No such collection item, frozen dire wolf. Please provide a valid collection item. Search for examples, Kromzek, Bracer, Lucky Clover, air infused opal, etc. So if we type in ear, 
it's going to say, boom, if everyone's collected it or not. And that's because we're going through every one of every single collection achievement, and then we're looking to see, is there an item that matches this? And then if there is, have we collected the item by that specific name? Um, I haven't found any instances where there's like fire frozen direwolf ear and then frozen direwolf ear two or something, but uh, it would find the first match of the specific thing you're looking for. Um, but this is <laughs> this is fantastic. So if you get a shiny in your group, instead of handing everything to everybody and being like, click it and then give it back, now you can just be like, hey, yo, do you uh, do you need this shiny? And it'll check to see if it has collected or not. I'm super excited about that. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to add uh, was to be able to check the status of an evolving item. Um, and this, because it is an inventory item, we can actually pass it by partial name. So for example, um, BCA status uh, item, uh, we'll do wrathful. Um, my non-tank has the wrathful ear uh, and they haven't completed it yet. It is already, it is, they're already evolved to 100% or whatever. So, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do item. <laughs> we want to do evolve, evolve. So if you notice, uh, for my Shadow Knight, it says, please provide a valid item to check your evolving status on. And if you noticed before, when we did status item, item Wrathful, my Shadow Knight doesn't have anything Wrathful. So it's going to spit out and say, hey, yo, you don't have an evolving item you can check on. For the rest of my tunes, uh, you can see Bloodied Wrathful Harasser's Earring of Ralos Zek, level two, out of a max level of two and the percent is zero. So items that are fully evolved would match the max level and then their percent would be zero. Um, if this was still evolving, it would show level one out of two and then whatever percentage it was at. Um, but because we're able to do the partial, we can do the wrathful and we'll see harassers, harassers, mystic, fused, and harassers. So this is a really nice way just to double check that everybody is evolving their stuff. Um, most mostly for us boxers we're getting the quests at the same time but every now and again especially with this particular quest line you have to go back and refarm stuff if you fail a combine or something like that this allows you to uh to just quickly check the whole group to see where everyone's at make sure you're not ending uh you know farming when you're one dude is at 99 percent because they died and they missed one kill creditors that's super annoying. so uh, we've went over the MQ2 status achievement stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, that gets a little bit tricky, uh, like I said, with the specific numbers that you have to get. But we have that really cool uh, achievement inspector, which allows us to look at all sorts of cool stuff. Like, did you know this? Did you know if you search in uh, 200, there's a hidden achievement in here for level 200? And uh, you can tell by the way that it is by how it is right here on this uh, hidden checkbox mark. Uh, but there's some uh, there's some hidden stuff that they added. They probably added it uh, programmatically and just, you know, went, OK, everything 200 or whatever. You know, I'm an alchemist or I'm not. I can't do alchemy, so it's going to be hidden for me. I can't do poison making. It's going to be hidden for me. I can't do tinkering. It's going to be hidden for me. I can't be level 200, so it's going to be hidden. I don't think there's a two. Is there a 250 level? No, I think they just put it up uh, 150, level 150. Um, oh, alternate. Let's see if any of these are hidden. What are they? Nope, no, none hidden. They don't have any extra in there. They decided they weren't going to give us any more achievements after, what is it? Is it 45? It's 50,000. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I was hoping to see like 100 million thousand. Ah, that would be hilarious. Anyway, uh, so this achievement inspector is pretty cool. A little bit outside of the scope of the MQ2 status update video, just spending more time talking about this. I did respond in the MacroQuest live servers next thread with some information about how to access the achievements for purposes of macros. Like for example, um, to check the that hunter of cobalt scar objective thing we were talking about if you're doing that in macro code it would look like this it would look at, like achievement hunter of cobalt scar uh dot objective <laughs> by index uh 
one complete. It would look like that. And then, uh, oops. What happened? Am I missing something? Oh, I'm missing a curly boy. Curly boy always wins every time. Curly boy. All right, and it says false because I don't have it completed. And then uh, again with the number because of the cobalt scar thing, we would end up doing this. Uh, did I write down the number? No. Well, good news. We can use the achievement inspector. Mm, inspection. And uh, can go to Hunter. Hunter of Cobalt Scar 287101. 287 807 101. Boom. It says true. Because we have that completed. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Objective 1 completed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm checking for. So this thing here is saying achievement 2807101, which is this Hunter of Cobalt Scar uh, objective by index at index 1. Is it completed? Yes or no. If I were to check two, uh, we would see that two would return back as false. I think I can do name. Um, name. Oops. Name. No. Text. I forget. I forget what it is. My bad. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so that's the MQ2 status updates. So quick review. So we have status. Achievement. And then we can either do number or name. Okay, we have status uh, collected, and then we do, I do that, it says, you know, please provide an answer. So we would do Chrom, Zek, Racer, and it says I've collected it. And then uh, we have the evolving. Evolving, uh, Jarn. No. Uh, what are my platinum okay so i just searched platinum wait a minute it's not an evolving item what do you mean it's not an evolving item oh because it's no longer an evolving item okay well that's cool i don't really think that's no longer an evolving item interesting i guess because it's complete and i can't i can't get the next ones because the next ones you just automatically get the uh the thing so i guess i guess this is no longer an evolving item it's cool to know anyway so this is the update for mq2 status uh i've been trying to do this video for a while uh big shout out to uh don we or danowick everybody says danowick but i think it's actually don we so my apologies if we're getting your name wrong uh and nightly for getting the anonymizer thing to work Thank you, thank you, thank you. It allows me to do more videos. So if you enjoy these videos and enjoy seeing them, please make sure you give your appreciation to uh, the MacroQuest devs for enabling me to be able to do stuff and share things with you. Um, but so that's what we have going on here. I really need to do some more videos and I was having issues with the anonymizer, which got taken care of, which is why I'm able to do this. Uh, I'm still dealing with voice stuff I really want to do an MQ2 grind video. There are some amazing additions with MQ2 grind using Next specifically, particularly when it comes to the interface and being able to adjust your settings and see what they are. And I'm really excited to share that stuff with you. Uh, but I don't want to do just a you know a quick five minute video. I want to spend some time and really explain some stuff. Uh, but kind of kills my kills my voice a little bit. Although I think we're on like nearly 20 minutes on this video, so I don't know. Um, I also want to show you guys Box HUD and Button Master and all these other cool things that are happening. There's really exciting stuff happening right now with uh, with MacroQuest and uh, and Red Guides. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's good stuff. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.